How are you? I'm Greg Amsinger. Welcome to this Crystal Ball Hoops conversation. I'm joined by our experts here at the Fieldhouse in New York, Seth Davis, Pete Gillen, and Coach Steve Lapis. Guys, I want to talk about conferences. Best conference right now in college basketball. If you had to pick one. No question, the ACC. They've got strong teams at the top with what North Carolina's doing, and they have the best depth year in and year out, I think, of any conference. I know Pete is not going to disagree with me on that, and I think that's really what distinguishes the ACC. They are looking at a minimum right now of seven teams. I think they're locked wow. in for seven, and they're the only league in America that even has a chance to get seven teams in, so they're the strongest uh, conference, I think. Pete, would you agree with that, ACC? Seth, you're a great American, but I had to differ. I'm Ooh. going with the Pac-10. I'm going with the Pac-10. Pac no question. All right, you got UCLA, forget it, Collison didn't play. They got a great team. All right, Washington State's excellent. Arizona's coming alive again. They're loaded. Stanford, don't forget against them. They're very, very good. I think the Pac-10 is the best league in the country right now. Duke slipping, do they have anything to do with you not taking ACC or what? No, Duke, it just, it, ACC's very good, but once again, they got Carolina, but they're still young. I mean, some of those teams got some flaws in them. I, I, you know, so I, ACC's a great league. I got Pac-10 slightly ahead of the ACC. Okay, I think they're down you? at the top from where that they've been, but the top to bottom. Okay. Where are the defending champs playing? The SEC. I think the SEC is the best conference in the country. You look at Florida. You look at Kentucky. You look at Tennessee. And like I said, I think the one dominant team that's proven to be in this country is Florida. I think it's the SEC. Only two of those teams ranked right now in the top 25. Now. Forget about ranks. Look at the RPIs. The SEC is ranked number one. This in is the not RPI. science. This is just basketball. Is. He, you love the RPI. I just think it tells you something about who they've played and who they've beaten. Uh, it's not the it's not the number itself. It's what the number represents. Mm. I might agree with the SEC East, but the SEC West to me looks like the NBA's yeah. Atlantic Division. A, <laughs> there's nobody really above 500 Mississippi, in that, Mississippi on that State. side of the draw. Uh, Alabama's down. Auburn. Arkansas, LSU has been terrible. Auburn's uh, bad, you know. Right. He's conference. allowed to be wrong. Once a week, he's he has wrong. a right to be wrong. <laughs> Once in a while. Weakest conference in college basketball, what would you say? Well, I mean, obviously, we're, we'll restrict it to the, uh, you know, the main conferences. I, and I'll go with the Big Ten. I mean, again, I think the Big Ten maybe is only going to have four teams uh, if it's uh, lucky at this stage. And, you know, again, I think that, you know, Purdue is maybe getting a little bit better this time of year. But what are you talking about? Northwestern and Penn State. Iowa's been way down. Uh, I, I think, to me, of the, of the elite conferences, the Big Ten is the weakest. I got to go with the Big 12. I think you got two real good teams, Texas A&M and Kansas, but I think there's a lot of frauds in there. Make believe Iowa State, you know what I mean? They're good in the farm country, but they're not a great team. All right, you know Baylor's not very good. So, you know, I think two real good teams, Big 12, to me, is a little bit of a disappointment. I'm going to have to agree with my esteemed colleague, the Big 10. When you look at a <laughs> you really league, really sounded like you meant that. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at a league where they rarely win on the road. You know, everybody always wins at home in that league. So you got to be, to be a really good team, you got to go on the road and win. I'm not saying Ohio State, they go on the road and win. There's no doubt about it. But the rest of the league, only win at home, I'm going to have to agree the Big Ten. And I'll say the most disappointing team in the country, by the way, I think is Michigan in there in the Big Ten. Last I checked. Is the Colonial going to have another dream run in the tournament, or is it going to be the Missouri Valley of the mid-majors? What do you think? Oh, boy, you know, the Colonial certainly has a couple of very good teams. I think, to me, one of the real interesting questions on Selection Sunday is going to be who gets to go from that league. They'll have more than one team, but you've got VCU, Hofstra, and Drexel all have impressive resumes, especially in the non-conference. Maybe only two of those three teams get in. Similar to last year, you had Hofstra and George Mason fighting right. it out at the end. Old Dominion's pretty good, too. So, you know, they got three and a half, four teams. So they got a chance. I like Missouri Valley. I think that's still a great league. Missouri State, we did a game with CSTV. They're very, very good. Obviously, Creighton, so Illinois. I think they're going to get a spoil. They're not going to get to the Final Four, but Sweet 16, possibly Final Eight. What about the Mountain West? I mean, I we agree. put the Mountain West in that category. I think you got three quality teams in BYU, UNLV, and Air Force. And San Diego State still has to play BYU and UNLV. Mm -hmm. Both at home, their RPI is 53, they're still within range. But I think you have three locks in there, and the Air Force in particular because of the way they play and the way they shoot that ball, they could do some damage in the NCAA tournament. We talk college hoops to a blue in the face every Monday night at 8 o'clock Eastern on Crystal Ball Hoops presented by Xbox Live.